Joining me now is Tim Morris. He's a managing director and retail analyst of Coriolis Research. Can businesses here compete? Is there an issue here? It's, it's clearly an issue for some sectors. Look, if you're in, if you're in um, film, if you're in music, if you're in books, you're struggling. Yeah, definitely. A lot of other sectors, it's irrelevant. You know, you're not going to get your toast, you know, your morning toast off the internet from China. You know, a lot of the sectors, it doesn't matter. Accommodation, uh, food service, restaurants, you can't go to a restaurant, you know, over the internet. But they're predicting a 14% annual increase over the next four years. But for some retailers, that must be really worrying. Definitely, it, it, it's going to impact. It's going to impact some sectors. Other ones, other, other ones, it's, it's it's irrelevant to. And you know, change is constant. Nothing stays the same, but change. You know, this this city itself had probably had a thousand hay merchants in it. You know, a hundred years ago, where are they now? We don't need them. So you can't put a wall around it. They've no, got to somehow of not. accept it. So get into a different business or find a way of making it work for you. I, th I think the, the, the skateboard um, uh, operator, and you, you think had the right answer. You know, developing customized products you can't get anywhere else. Part of the reason people go online to buy things is that if you if you if you go overseas, you can buy something no one else has. If I go out and I'm wearing the same shirt as some other guy at the party, uh, you know, I, f I feel like I'm a, like a dork. Really. I buy something all, on, you know overseas, I feel good. So you can see the frustration of, of, of you've got a store and you're effectively becoming a, sh a showroom, aren't you? People at home, I like the look of that. I'll pop down to the store, try it on for size. I have to, look, I've, done, I've done it myself. If I was a retailer, it would, it would drive me balmy. But that, that's the reality of, of the world we live in today. The issue of NZ Post, because I'm getting some flack, I mean, as we heard mm -hmm. Phil say, are they enabling people to take the business out of... Out of out from, They're not doing right anything that isn't already available. You can go on right, online right now and, and sign up for a hundred different services that'll ship you stuff out of the US or Europe if they won't ship here right now. I mean, a lot of companies are already, already shipping to New Zealand as, as it is. But, you know, it, by going to that, by setting up their own service, they, they give it an imprimatur. They give it a bit of a halo effect. It's New Zealand Post. It's not some dodgy crowd. Your package won't go missing, I, I hope. One of the issues, which I think is going to have to be addressed, isn't it, is the tax issue. Because as I say, you're buying from overseas, you're not paying mm. GST, you're not paying any import mm. duties, you're getting around it. Mm. Can you see that being addressed? I think when, when the size of the prize gets big enough, the, uh, the tre Treasury, the tax department will figure out a way to get it. It's not like they're, not si they're sitting around you know, and haven't noticed that there's a bunch of money sitting here. I think it's the transaction cost is the challenge. How do they get that money? You know, if it's an $8 parcel, how do, we t how do they take their you know, 90 cents, a dollar out of it? So the worry for the government is they aren't getting their share as opposed mm -hmm. to whatever damage it may or may not be doing to, to other businesses. Uh, you've always been able to buy things overseas via a catalogue. You could travel overseas yourself and bring it back in your luggage and nothing's, nothing's changed. You follow these trends, you watch mm -hmm. these things. Where is this going to go? And, and is it also a generational thing? Is, is younger people coming through far more technologically savvy? Is this going to grow? Will we, is it the end of the shopping centre? The, 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 it's not the end of the shopping centre. Things, things change. Things evolve. There'll, there'll be new things. Um, the, uh, the classic is if you look at you know, books, if you look at music, if you look at, if you look at um, you know, uh, CDs, DVDs, that kind of things, they're going digital anyhow. You know, if, if, I, if I buy it from Amazon and they download it to me, I've bought it in the US. If they ship it to me, I, I, I've technically bought it into New Zealand. Um, those industries are going to be gone in 10 years anyhow. You know, you're still going to go, you're going to spend more on dinner. Maybe you spend less on clothing and you spend more on, more on dinner. Time to get real. Tim Morris, thanks so much. Thank you. So are the retailers keeping pace with the way shoppers want to shop? What do you think? Go to our website or email us at closeup at tvnz.co.nz. And of course, you can join the discussion on Facebook as well.